Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OVW. I'm Dean Hill alongside our anchorman Gilbert Corsi and the Rocky Mountain Mouth, Michael Titus. And as we all know last week, Rob Terry became the number one contender. And we're going to let you know why that's such a big story because Crimson, well, I'll tell you here in just a minute. And your opening contest is set for one call. Introducing first, the team of SP and Paradise, the mess. Kara Mafia! So why is that so important about Crimson and Gil? Well, because Rob Terry becomes the number one contender, Dean, and then Crimson this week now conspicuous by his absence and alleged family emergency. I'm not buying that for one minute. Why wouldn't you buy that? Of course he's got a family emergency. I understand that his great aunt is, is suffering some sort of congenitalitis. Make it treatment. up as you go along. No, I'm not making it up. It's some medical term that I, I can't pronounce. Well, the bottom line, as we see the best team ever, allegedly, making the way out here is that Rob Terry worked his way up the ladder one way or the other last week, and Crimson isn't here. And if you ask me, it's directly because of it. And introducing their opponents, they are the current reigning Ohio Valley Wrestling Southern Tag Team Champions, Mr. Pectacular Jesse Goddard. And Rudy Switchblade, the best team ever! And he's still close. His great aunt, he's, she practically raised him. And you, you people are trying to make a mockery out of the greatness that he professes towards his great aunt. Hey, Gilbert, we saw the situation last week. Trailer Park Trash assaulted. No one has a clue as to who, but he's going to get to the bottom of it tonight. A real case of who's done it here in OVW. Who attacked Trailer Park Trash, the director of operations. This has been the question of the week. You might need an I've investigative reporter. I've asked everyone that they don't know what happened. Not even Joseph Bynum. She just it just came out of nowhere. There is no surveillance video. People are asking everybody. I mean, uh, who has vested interests? Who has stakes? Who has a reason to track t uh, to attack TBT? Lots of questions. And then what's Frank Miller going to do when he finds out who's behind the mask? One thing I know for sure is that Frank Miller has been making some bad decisions lately, and it's there could be numerous individuals that would want to take him out. Right now, Paradise starting the also his team against Mr. Spectacular for the alleged best team ever, the team that has been having issues uh, over the last, well, I would say a few months, but it's obviously we went back farther than that, if in, you ask me. In spite of the issues, they're still the tag team champions, and they're still the best team ever. Yeah, but Gilbert, we got this Captain Lieutenant thing going on. Well, you know, the best team ever has had some competition, some jockeying for who's at the head of the team, but I, uh, unfortunately here, I'm inclined to agree with Titus here. No matter what's going on inside their faction, they've been able to hold on to those Southern Tag Team Championships. Right now, Rudy Switchblade holding on to Paradise, who's holding on to that headlock, and Paradise wins that shoulder tackle. Oh, up and down, and rolls through it and puts, puts a Switchblade on his back. This is a non-title encounter between the Mascara Mafia and the best team ever, but you got to believe a win here for Paradise and Espinosa certainly would shoot them up the ranks to number one contendership in the tag team division. Right now, Espinosa tagged in. Michael, you seem to have an issue with that. One thing I know for sure is that they're still upset. They're still hot and bothered after what happened with the platoon of Wayne, and they're taking all of their aggression out on all the other tag teams here in OVW. So how do you know that they're hot and bothered? Well, I mean, I... That is Michael I, I Titus, I don't, I don't, well. the Rocky Mountain Mouth, uh, addresses that, awkwardly though it may be. We see Paradise trying to tag in. Oh, that side headlock grab by Espinosa. Don't do that to me, Dean. Don't you know that I am a wordsmith? I'm much, a linguistic genius. Much much like when you're home alone, you just did it to yourself. Whoa, 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 ladies oh, and gentlemen. I mean, gentlemen. obviously Keep about to... Keep it clean. Family show here. Well, what, do you, what do you think I meant? With the shoulder block takedown, Pectacular hits the canvas. SV hits the far side ropes and puts Goddard's on his back once again here into the cover. Gilbert, what do you expect? San Juan Hill over here is a dirty old man. Right now... It looked like Espinosa, I thought, into the eyes, but no, it's Nuzzle Pectacular. Big clubbing fist across the back of Espinosa, setting him up for the Irish whip and plants him in there. Oh, man, runs in as Jesse catches the elbow you know, of Espinosa. You know, Tara's not going to like that one. No, she's not. The knockout champion Cutting. doesn't want any blemishes. Cover, one, two, and the kick out. Two and a half, about as close as it can get. Rudy Switchblade certain to think his partner was in trouble there. 
Jesse can't afford any imperfections on, on that GQ look. Espinoza is climbing. They're a high-flying team right now. Oh, switchblade over to pull Espinoza off. Hey, That's listen. what I call teamwork. we got to take a short break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. While we've been gone, Switchblade's been stomping a mud hole in Espinosa and walking it dry, Gil. The opportunity created to turn the tide in this matchup when Espinosa took a hard fall off that top rope thanks to Rudy Switchblade. Great teamwork on the part of the best team ever. They're working as a cohesive unit. They're working like the tag team champions. And you guys continually trying to profess that there's some sort of problems between them, lieutenant and captain, and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? They're still the champions, that, and they're going to take out the Mascara Mafia here tonight. The problems were unfolding right in front of our face. They had dissension among the ranks. They had several issues of miscommunication that cost them key wins. That's water under the bridge now. Be water that under as, the Ohio Bridge, yeah. <laughs> be that as it may, right now, the tag team champions are in control of the Mascara Mafia, team. Well, now they're making the tag, the proper tag, in front of the referee. So that, uh, I mean, they've, they've been in and out for the last five minutes without even making a tag. Cover here, cover. That should have been a three count as far as I'm concerned. This young punk referee doesn't know what he's doing out there. Well, you stay at the announcer table and do your job and let the referee do his. Espinosa right now doing his job, throwing those fists, but uh, Goddard's with that big clubby arm across the back and dragging Espinosa back over the corner. Oh, Espinosa kicks out, but can he make it to Paradise? Well, Scratching, there, crawling so close. And just as he got to his corner, Paradise cut off, and he's frustrated. He's angry. But look at what's happening on the opposite of the ring here. And obviously, oh, man, Espinosa saw the way out, and it ended up being ran into the elbow of Mr. Pectacular. Classic tag team wrestling, cutting the ring in half, preventing Espy to make the tag to Paradise. And the captain tagging in the lieutenant. Well, is Pectacular the captain, or is... Well, Switchblade the captain. No, in the past it's been spectacular. He's been the one with the, the bigger eagle, if you will. Opportunity here, opportunity for SB. Can he scramble away from Switchblade? They're co-captains, guys. Stop trying to make things up as you go along. Right now, Switchblade trying to pull Espinosa back up. Put, makes he successfully pulls him over to the corner and tags in Jesse Goddard's Mr. Spectacular. A boot into the gut. Leaves that, and look, Espinosa and Goddard's trading a few barbs. I mean, the Paradise and Goddard's trading a few barbs. Meanwhile, oh, Espinosa. Going up for a ride. Spectacular press. Goddard's in full control, <laughs> having his way with Espy. <laughs> and Espinosa landed awkwardly, almost face first in the green in the ring as the switchblade turned around and yelled something at us. Oh, the arrogant pin. Not going to cover Brand Espinosa like that. Uh, I like his face getting rearranged, just like Johnny Spades. How oh, puzzle face. <laughs> and don't forget, for this night's over, Trailer Park Trash is going to find out who it was that attacked him and left him for dead last week. As we left television, Terry Bodie had that interview with him early on. Look, you've known TPT for a very long time. He's been in a lot of fights. He's been jumped a lot of times. Have you ever seen him as irate, as angry, as upset as he was after what happened here last week, Dean? Uh, and add something else. Focus, tag, tag, tag. focus on finding out the criminal. In comes Paradise. It's me finally able to make it over to his partner. Somebody lock this madman up. He's incensed. Paradise right now. A standing drop kick. Hits it a nip up. Champions could be in trouble here. Oh, the elbow, excuse me, the knee from Goddard's Get him, nice get kick. him, Rudy. Get uh, him, get him. Oh, oh no. Thumb in the eye. We're going to have a, a problem. Minute. I'm telling you now, we're going to have a problem between the BTE. We've seen that miscommunication before, and we've seen how it turns oh, out. Yes. Once again, up and down for the back body drop. Paradise using it, buddy. Paradise using the confusion in BTE to his own advantage. Oh, Switchblade got lost thrown the chin. of this matchup. Double clothesline lays both of them out. I don't know who got the worst of that one, Dean. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Paradise used the issues that BTE has been having recently. That he played it very well. The fact that they were going to try it. I mean, the, the, the confusion. Goddard's ends up hitting a uh, switchblade. Switchblade ends up hitting Goddard's. Very well played by Paradise. And look, the issue's right here, right now. Look, you hit me in the face, you dog. Right in my teeth. 
spectacularly spectacular Last week he walked the out. first one to tell you that he was a Hollywood superstar. He's just taking a breather. That's all he's doing. He's got to make sure his teeth are clean because, you know, you don't want to chip a, a cap. Tara doesn't want a misshapen boyfriend. What? And that leaves Rudy Switchblade in a handicap situation here. But here comes, here comes Spectacular back. What in the world? I think this they had is the a plan. same thing we saw at the Saturday Night Special. Up and down. Hold it. They, <laughs> did they go to the that? Uh, it's over. It would seem so, Dean. Here are your winners. The best team ever. So you did the thing that the Mascara Mafia took advantage of the distractions and the dissension. But don't you think that maybe the best team ever pulled a swerve on the Mascara Mafia and made them think? That's uh, exactly my point. They have used that. They have used it. They have used it.